What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Rev Room. Today we have some Philly cheesesteak Pringles. All right guys, another limited edition product. Nothing half full about this can. But yeah, uh, another limited edition product, Philly cheesesteak. Um, here is the nutrition facts. So let's dive right into this. About 14 crisp per serving. I mean, they definitely don't smell good. They don't have any like real like powder or anything on them. No. They smell terrible. And they taste terrible. I'm trying to like... These are terrible. My God. I'm trying to like pull out flavors. I get onion. There's definitely onion there. But no, like, no meat, no bread. It's like, they try to do, like, some sort of a cheese, but it's like a, it's like a rotten, spoiled cheese. Alright. Oh. Oh, my God, guy. Don't buy these. These are horrible. I Oh my god. I have such a nasty aftertaste in my mouth right now. I said they... Ugh. This is like... It's like spoiled cheese. Like spoiled like Swiss cheese. That's what it, it smells like. Like bad Swiss cheese that you left outside for like three days in the sun. No meat at all. It doesn't, it doesn't have the meat cheese steak at all. It's not even supposed to be like Swiss or even American or, I mean, some cheese steaks have American on, some have the cheese whiz on. It's neither of those. Oh, guys. I gotta go get something to, this is horrible. Do not buy these. I haven't had a product this bad especially from Pringles, a big company that usually is spot on with their flavoring. Wow. Stay away from the Philly cheesesteak Pringles. Do yourself a favor. That's all we got for you guys. If you guys like these, comment down below and let me know because I want to know what drugs you're on that you're eating these and think they're good. And uh, yeah, if you're into food reviews, check out our food review playlist section. Wow, sorry guys. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. Take care.